Jab to the body from Pacheco. Oh! And that right hand comes in. You and uh, David Benavidez once in a while. Oh, big shot big there. Right hand. When Pacheco is throwing it, both with the right hand and the left. Having success with that left hand lead. Oh, beautiful shots. And now Pacheco starts to open up, and now we're starting to see. Uppercut, the guard was wide. Oh, another right hand. And it's the big right hand over the top this time. And this oh, one up and gets through, and it's the body shot once again. Cullen in desperate trouble. Pacheco oh. now follows through, and the referee dives over to rescue Cullen on the far side of the ring. Really cleanly, instead of three of them really fast, that's when you know you're in. No! What a bomb from Pacheco! I guess the answer to how many punches Luna could take was zero. And then digging down to the body, not forgetting the body. And Luna's down for a second time as he smashes his gloves together. Pacheco going for the gusto. Luna thinks he should calm down now and go back to the jab. Oh, he doesn't know how to calm down. To stop the fight. The corner is telling him to stop the fight. Yeah. From Colazzo. Colazzo not taking too many chances, but down he goes. Now's not the time for trash talk. Pacheco's got 45 seconds in the bag to finish this one in round five. Pacheco just measuring Colazzo right now, and that is it. Good start here by Diego Pacheco. Oh, nice uppercut. Straight right, straight right. Another straight right. Outing down in Mexico, blamed it on being sick. Said I just didn't have it, but he's got it tonight and has already rocked Guillermo. Seems like in slow motion for Pacheco. He's I'm dipping, left, he's I'm ducking. Left. Oh, left hook. How is Maldonado still standing? He may not be anymore! Face down, lights out! Diego Pacheco, his second knockout! That's the six foot four fighter. Saidi has been wobbled twice by those right hands. And down he goes! Pacheco. Ortega's game, he doesn't have particularly flashy hand speed. He's looking to slowly grind his opponents down. Right now, he's eating some big shots from Pacheco. The chopping right hand, and another one comes over the top. And Ortega is in trouble here in the early going. Another right hand wobbles Ortega. He's lost his footing. Nice left hook set up by Uso. Oh, big right hand connects from Ortega. And Diego Pacheco is hanging on. Yeah, he got a little careless. So big momentum swing here in round two. The right hand to the body, and I don't think Ortega liked that. He takes a knee right in his own corner. Just about saying, listen, we don't want Diego to be working on the inside. That's not his strength. Nice big uppercut from Pacheco. Returns the favor after getting hit with two right uppercuts from Ortega. And now Ortega turns away again. Pacheco might have something here. For fights like this against guys like Ortega who can recover, can stand up to some shots. Yeah. Seeing some swelling under the right eye of Ortega. And that might do it to the left eye as well. Another hard right hand from Pacheco. And he is all over Ortega in the final 10 seconds. Pacheco trying to close the show, but I think Ortega will be able to hang on and see the next. And that is it. Raul Ortega will retire on his stool, and Diego Pacheco picks up another knockout victory. Feels like it works for him, and I mean, he's had success as a pro, 9 3 and 1. And I've called Planas fights before. He actually can fight. You know, don't, don't let the style fool you. Um, he knows what he's doing in there. The lead oh. is down, the chin is up, and that spells trouble for Plata here in round one. And I agree, very awkward, but if Pacheco, again, sticks to the game plan. You know, it really 
favors Pacheco's height, his powerful right hand. Crowd coming alive behind Diego Pacheco. Oh. And a big right hand. Just keep it simple. The fundamentals always work. Jab to the body from Pacheco. Oh. And that right hand comes in. And he has Plata looking like Bandy. Oh, yeah. That's, that's going right. to do it. Keep it simple, right? <laughs> so all eyes on Diego Pacheco. Long and strong. And you see landing the long right hand. 6'4", 168. That is a big man for super middleweight. Pacheco pulling down the punches and the kid's 18 years old. 18 years old and he's a just all around, all around solid fighter. It's the body shots that make him great. The uppercuts, he fights at a distance, but he knows how to fight inside for being a six foot four fighter. Saidi has been wobbled twice by those right hands. And down he goes. Pacheco wasting no time. Oh, shot. That's it, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Long reach. Nice right hand. Oh, and he already put Casper down. This crowd is buzzing. They're ready to see a finish. No, no, balance. He's not falling in front of the front foot. Keep in mind, Casper. 35 seconds left to go. Nice straight jab for Pacheco. And he's trying to buff. Speaking of punishment, how about what Pacheco did in his last fight against Terry Fernandez? Nice right hand. You can see Casper covering up, holding on. Stairs. Just like that. What a combination. Great flurry for Pacheco with 20 seconds to go here in the third round. Not smothering his punch. Oh, big uppercut. Pacheco firing away. Will it oh, and it just, after all those combinations, it was just a straight, winded up right hand that sends Casper down. And there it is. Another right hand. Casper's backed against the ropes. Let's see if he can throw some punches of his own or the referee will stop it. He's down again. And it it's brilliant. Look around. Pacheco. 20 years old. He, he's been around the scene for a while, though. He snapped back the head of the Brazilian. Remember the fights? He's a big boxing fan and snap back to right. Oh, that's what Abreu was feeling, and then you see why Abreu stayed away. Half for it. Now. Okay. <laughs> All right. As soon as you say that, now. Okay. Hey, he's trying to find the fights. And like, not much Abreu out there in this day and age. Yeah, but I just mean in general tonight. Yeah, exactly. Even in the ring, I'm not seeing it. Right. Trying to take the next Ooh. level. That overhand right landing again. Flush. Love those straight right hands over the top from Pacheco to build up points, more time to do damage. He's looked very sharp here tonight. South Central representing, but he's got fans all over. Right, left. The Pacheco crowd making noise. Pacheco, he wants to fight soon. Another one, that other attitude of like four or five fights a year, let's go. If you give them to me, I'll take them. Because you're 20 years old, you know, figuring some things out with your defense, and what are you going to do? Oh, and there oh. it is, oh, another overhand right, and the referee oh. jumps in. That's all she wrote. That's it. it was. I think you're the. Whoa, nice right hand, and again for Pacheco. One. Oh, Fernandez got a right hand in there. Kind of left hook. Now, what have you seen that makes you say he's dirty? No, Fernandez has been tough right now. He's been he's been throwing haymakers, taking shots, landing big shots. Brazil, Mexico. One, two, and then the left hand to the body for Pacheco. Oh, Can he stop. survive the round? There's the clapper. They're gonna stop this. They're gonna stop this one more shot. He really doesn't have much of a chance at any to win this fight as he There's just ate the biggest punch of the fight for Pacheco. Eddie Hernandez is it. Over the course of the year, fought in Saudi Arabia on the under. Did Mendez? Well, that's straight left hand connected. Big right hand, and that affected Mendez, who's covering up, cowering into the corner. Big uppercut again from Pacheco. And not forgetting the body, going on both sides of the body, like I said, Todd.
so tall. He's already adapted to fighting small. You know, he bends his knees well. He doesn't he doesn't stand right up every time he's done punching. See, some tall fighters get Boy, lazy up. whenever they're fighting the behind jabs the like that. uppercut again, and that's it. They will just 